Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Bland County Survivor Man. Hey guys, tonight I'm going to show you guys a way to survive in the in the wild with uh, just using a plastic bag for a tent. Now I've taught this in survival class, but I've actually never done it. So tonight I'm going to spend the night out here in the mountains of Virginia. Uh, I'm, prob I'm approximately uh, about 2,700 feet up in the mountain. It's supposed to come a rain and snow tonight, and I don't know exactly uh, how cold it's going to get, but it's going to be in the 30s. Tonight I'm going to use this uh, blanket right here, this survival blanket, and this uh, plastic bag for a shelter, and uh, see if I can survive out here and make it through the night without having to... Uh, actually get up and leave and you know exit out of here so uh this is a real uh actually a survival situation that could happen to you so uh I, what i've done is i've tied that plastic bag to a tree with with some rope that i had in my backpack now i've got some hunting clothes back there that i'm going to wear tonight inside this shelter naturally because it is going to be cold tonight and i knew that so uh i'm going to spend the night here in this shelter i'm not going to have a fire and uh, I've told people that they could survive the night that way. So I'm going to do it tonight on uh, Land County Survivor Man and uh, update you along the way a little bit and tell you how it goes. Okay, guys. The way I'm going to seal up the front of this shelter tonight is uh, I've taken some acorns. There's plenty of them in the woods here, so we might as well use them instead of using little dinky rocks. Just take them and uh, put them around your pla uh, wrap them around your plastic, and then take you some string, which I've got some in my survival pack there, some jute for making fire, and I'll just tie them up, and that'll seal that up. Now all I got to do is crawl inside my shelter and uh, tie up put put a couple more on there so that the wind don't open that thing up tonight on me. I do. You can see some holes in the thing, but. You know, in a survival situation, that's the way it's going to be. Uh, if you found a piece of plastic, it may not be a perfect piece of plastic, but still yet, it could save your life. So that's the way it's going to look. Uh, looks like it's getting a little colder out here. So I'm going to go ahead and crawl on in the shelter there and go ahead and wait there and see what happens and see if it starts raining or snowing, which it's supposed to do. Hey guys, that's what it looks like inside this shelter. This is surely not like sleeping at the house in your bed but anyway this is where I'm going to spend the night because you can stay alive in a plastic bag with just a few little trinkets with you so uh, this is the way it's going to be I bet I look like a big old turkey wrapped up in a blanket to be cooked in the oven but I'll tell you what this little blanket really keeps you warm. I've been inside my shelter now for probably approximately an hour and a half. My shelter is actually getting uh, fogged up where I'm breathing inside here. The plastic's getting a little damp, but I guess that's normal because uh, I gotta breathe. So uh, I've got a hole at the bottom of the thing to let fresh air inside here, but the heat off of my body is going up through the and the condensating on the plastic so it's getting it just a little bit warm or a little bit wet but uh, that's normal anyway this little space blanket right here actually works I mean I am just toasty warm inside this thing and right now outside I think it's right about 39 degrees so it's getting ready to get dark probably going to start raining and snowing so that's what it looks like for right now there's what she looks like after dark, guys. I, it's uh, it's probably about 8:30 in the evening. It uh, it has started to rain outside, but so far, I'm in here with my little bitty blanket, my little emergency blanket, and I'm just about as warm as as I could be with my almost being at home in the bed. I don't know if my batteries is going to last enough. I, I guess you can see me there like that, but it is getting a little bit cooler out there, I can tell. Probably uh, dropping down there near about 38 degrees. 
and uh, it has started raining so I'm gonna call it a night and uh, see you guys in the morning yeah guys I don't know if y'all can see me or not uh, it looks like my batteries is about to go dead in my camera it's it's right about 11 o'clock at night and uh, I had to get up to go to the bathroom naturally when you get all snuggled down and warm you got to get up and do something like that but anyway that's what my campsite looks like right there that's home away from home tonight see a little hole I crawl in right there to get inside there and uh, one of the things that uh, I probably said before you can see the condensation is built up on the inside of that uh, plastic bag it really had not dripping down on me yet but it is building up inside there and uh, it builds up on the little uh, uh, emergency blanket too just a little bit when you breathe inside inside of there but the little emergency blanket really is a life-saving deal so uh, that's what it looks like that's how I've got it tied up to the to the tree there and uh, it's pretty cool out here right now so I'm going to shut down here right now before I run out of battery and uh, see if I can get some more shut eye. Well, good morning there, guys. I noticed it's currently cracking dawn out there. It's still pretty dead burn cold, but I'll tell you what, in my little shelter, I've been doing a pretty good job of staying warm. I've, I've had a few cold spots, that's natural, I guess, but. Uh, other than that, well, I, I'll highly recommend this uh, little survival blanket uh, that don't weigh anything at all. A couple dollars, get you a couple of them and uh, keep them in your survival pack. Guys, that's it for this video. Uh, uh, and I'm going to get out of here and break camp and uh, see if I can't make it on back down to the house. So uh, that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor man. Have a nice day.